once again. This is Robo J. Welcome to my channel. How's it going, guys? Hope you're doing well. Greetings from Brooklyn, New York. Today, we're going to be getting into this beautiful mess you're looking at right here. <laughs> this is the OSC Touch Control Surface application. This was developed and used by the DJ musician Deadmau5. And he used it for his live performances. And he just recently made this available for the public to purchase and use. What this is is basically a touchscreen controller that you can use via MIDI, mapping it to your DAW so you can control parameters on it. Now, I made this template here that you're looking at. And I made it using the different widgets which are available for you to create. And you can make it how you can make it look however you want. And I, this was the first template I made, and I made a video of me performing music that I made on Ableton on this thing. And I got some comments asking if I could show how I made it, how I made this, how I mapped it, and I thought we'd do that together. Now, I tried making a video a couple of weeks back of doing that, and it took so long. <laughs> it took way. I think the I tried doing it all in one video, and I think it almost be it was almost like an hour. And I thought it would be way better if I do this video in parts. So the first part are going to be taking care of this section right here. Second part of the video will be this part. Third part will be this section. Fourth will be the keyboards here. And the final part of the video will be this section over here. And we might split it even more because there's a lot of detail that goes into the different mappings of this. So let's get into this right now. Now, if... If now I just made this channel and I've been on YouTube a while and I'm just starting to finally kind of get more into creating content on this channel and I'm you know this is this isn't the only thing I do I, I do a lot of other cool music stuff so I'm just starting this channel and I would love to gain some support I've already gotten a couple new subscribers you know to those to those who have subscribed already thank you so much it means a lot I'm gonna try to create some more content for you to enjoy on this channel but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I would love to have uh, some more subscribers, so please subscribe. And yeah, let's uh, keep it going, and let's get into this. So, I'm going to make this template. Now, I th thought it would be just better if I just created it from scratch. So I can show you exactly how to do it from scratch. And so you can get some cool ideas here if you want if you have this and want to try it for yourself. So let's start fresh. Just a blank slate. So we're going to start by creating our master section. We're going to start here by taking a slider. And stretching it out, making it nice and big. I'm gonna make a nice big master fader for for all of this. Okay, I'm gonna move the master fader over here. Let's see if we can move it like right here to the bottom. You can adjust that if needed. I'm gonna make it the color blue. And yeah, it looks pretty good there. Next I'm gonna make my two buttons for play and stop. That's what we're gonna be controlling in the master section. We're gonna be controlling the play and stop, and we're going to be also controlling the volume. For the play button, I'll make it a circle, and I'll make it green for go. Okay. There for the for the button here, I'm going to just keep that as a red button, and I'm actually I'm going to make that a more of the red red. There we go, and that will be our button for stop. In the name of love. Okay, let me make this a little bit more square. Okay, I'm going to make this a little more bigger here. All right, let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, I will also add some text for this, um, just to kind of show how to do that. I'm going to change that to there. Okay, so for this text stuff here, you can just bring the text here. And I'm going to label it as play. And then I'm going to make that green, same color as the button. Okay, I'm going to put it right there, right in the center. I'm going to send that to the back of it. Let's see how it looks. Good. Okay, next I will make text for stop. Now you don't have to do this. This is this is only really if you would really like text I'm just showing you that you can you can do this if you want usually with me I know where all what all the buttons do um, but if it it's if it's helpful for you to see each button description it's good all right that looks good okay um, 
the design looks pretty good. And just for now, I'm going to actually make the border now. I usually save the border for last after I map it. But in this case, I'm just going to do it right now. Here we go. All right. Let's stretch that out. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks great. You want to send this to the back as well. So there's no little sh shadow here. Very cool. If you hear any rumbling in the back, I, I live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm right near the subway when it goes over ground. So you'll probably hear the train. I live right near the train, so probably hear it go by. Okay, let's get this mapping. For OSC, you want to make sure in your settings that the MIDI settings here, the MIDI out device, is the device you're using uh, to communicate with the Ableton. Now, for OSC, you're, you can use a special MIDI communicator, which I'll show you here. It's called Loop MIDI. And you can download this, for, download this for free. And this is actually what's communicating the OSC to Ableton and vice versa. If you see, I labeled it RJM, which is me, OSC MIDI. Okay. So I'm going to make this half. So you can see Ableton. Here's my Ableton. And we got the different loops. I already set this. I, this is basically set up already for to be mapped. Uh... What we have here is we got our beat here, which I can show you here. We got our beat. Uh, we have our different instrumentations, which we'll go over in the next videos. Uh, we got our loops here. Uh, and there's the bus for all these loops. Uh, but what we're going to be mapping is this up here. We're going to be mapping the play button, the stop button, and we're going to map the master volume. So. We're just going to start from the top. We're going to go to over to S OSC. We're going to click on the buttons here. And just to keep it going orderly, I'm going to name it play button. Now we have MIDI channel. We have MIDI CC and MIDI note. MIDI note's just if you're going to play a, an instrument, which we're not. Uh, so with most DAWs and most uh, controllers, you have usually 16 channels of MIDI. Uh, and then with each channel, you have, uh, I believe, a, like 150 cc, I believe. So it's basically a channel within a channel. Um, so we are going to map this to actually to channel 16. And I'll tell you why. Because MIDI channels 1 through 4 are going to be used to map these four instruments uh, for when we put up the keyboards and pads up to play them. But for now, I'm just going to make any of like, we're going to kind of, work backwards where it's going to start on channel 16 for these for these specific parameters so let's do that i'm going to click on the play button here i'm going to say channel 16. for cc the osc doesn't acknowledge zero so you're going to have to put one but although uh, when you map it, it's going to say 16 uh, cc zero on ableton you'll see what i mean for stop button i'm going to do channel 16 CC, you guessed it, 2 for the master volume, 16 channel, and you guessed it, 3. All right, so once again, MIDI channel 16, CC1, CC2, CC3. Okay, now let's get this mapped into Ableton. And you do that by, on your keyboard, you can hit Control and M which puts it into MIDI mapping mode, or Command-M if you're using Mac. Uh, you can also switch between MIDI mapping on using this button right up here, MIDI. You'll see that a bunch of stuff turned blue. Now, this is where you can map parameters by basically highlighting the stuff you want to map and then hitting the key or part of the controller of where you want it to map, be mapped to. And we want it to be mapped to the play button. So I'm going to touch the play button here with the mouse. You're going to see that there's a little square that popped up around it. And we're going to come over here to OSC. We're going to go into performance mode, get out of workspace mode, and then I'm going to hit the play button. Now, if you notice over here on this play button, there's now a dot zero. And it says right here on the bottom of Ableton that it's mapped to channel slash CC channel 16 slash zero, which is what I want. Next is we're going to go to the stop button. I'm going to click on the stop button. I'm going to hit the stop button in OSC. You'll see that now it says dot one. Now it says map to channel slash CC 16 slash one. Perfect. 
That means that now the stop button is communicating with this. Play button communicating with this one. Next, master volume. I'm going to come over here and click on the vo master volume level here. If you notice now that there's like a little, it's hard, it might be hard to see, but there's like these little brackets. So I'm going to just touch the volume level slider here. Now you'll notice that now right here it says 16 slash 2. That means now that this level here is, is communicating with this one. But let's test it out to see if it works. So I'm just going to play the beat. Okay. So I want to hit stop. Ah, good. It's working. Good. And now let's check the volume level. Very good. Ah, but look. Now, you notice that if I hold it here, it stays at, it's at zero. But if I put it all the way up, the master volume level in Ableton goes all the way up to 6 dB. I do not want that. Your master volume should pretty much always stay at zero. So to fix that, I'm going to go to MIDI mapping mode on Ableton. And if you click on this tab thing, now, now this will show you MIDI mapping. So it'll show you the list of all the stuff you mapped. And it's only three stuff for now, but trust me, when this template fills up, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff mapped out. But I want to focus right here max and min now you can actually set the maximum and minimum levels for stuff that you map so i don't want it to be 6 db for the max level of the volume i want the max level to be zero so i'm going to set that right there okay now i'm going to get out of mini mapping mode so now let's look at it again okay i'm moving this if you notice now the volume level over here is moving but if i move this all the way to the top you'll see that now the master volume sits comfortably properly at 0 dB. That's exactly what I need. Great. So we got play. We got the volume control set to 0, which is where it should be, and stop. Perfect. Great. Well, it's a small start here, but a lot of stuff is going to fill up. So all that will be done in the next few videos. For the next video, we're going to create the drum pad right that's going to go right here where we can actually can control an effect on the drum and not only that be able to switch between the regular drum and then the affected drum and we'll go over that in the next video all right i hope you enjoyed this now if you liked it again please give it a thumbs up if you really liked it and would like to uh, stay tuned for more videos please subscribe this is a brand new channel uh, and it's definitely going to fill up with more stuff not just with OSC, but I do a lot of other music stuff. I'm actually in the process of learning, of trying to figure out how to map OSC to the MIDI that's connected to my analog synthesizer. So maybe we can do that together. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. I enjoy this stuff so much. So I hope you do like it. And yeah, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for the next part. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.